I'm going to show you how I use a moat and walls, a couple of towers too, to make my castle slash village raid proof. I have at least seven totems of undying because I've been testing this moat and wall system. Needed to make sure that it is truly raid proof. Collecting a few of the villagers' pillagers' banners. Adding <laughs> number seven totem of undying. I already used one, so I've had eight raids that I've fought here. Getting myself cursed by attacking one of the pillagers in a pillager outpost that I already raised to the ground with dynamite. Come back to the village and start the raid. The villagers tend to panic pretty well. And there's no point in even shooting at them when they're running up because it's when they get stuck in the moat that you can really see they're like sitting ducks. They can't get out. Doesn't matter if it's a witch, an evoker, a vindicator, a pillager, a ravager. I have seen a ravager get out when I shot it and I've got kicked back on my bow. So it kind of knocked it out of the trench, but you can see they're just stuck. They can't go anywhere. I could just go mess around in the village and have no problems at all with them. They just, they're, they're stuck there. I believe that was wave two. And they're just panicking for nothing. We've been through this seven times, guys, and not a single pillager has made it through this moat wall system. See, proof the Ravager is stumped. Not a thing he can do. You'll see how the towers come in handy on the fourth and last uh, wave of the raid. Generally, you will have a evoker riding a Ravager, and they release the Vex. But if you're up on the tower, they can release whatever Vex they want, and it's not going to get you. Oh, gee, you're trapped in my moat. They're literally sitting ducks. There's nothing they can do to fight back. If they get too close to you where they can actually hit you, you just run further down the wall. They can't navigate the moat. Occasionally you have to get down and hunt the last one, but that's a great opportunity to scoop up all the experience and emeralds and different things that the pillagers drop when you kill them. This system where I can get up on top of the wall from outside or inside, and then spiral staircase up to the top. In this case, he was way away from me, so I could have killed him from the wall. But I went ahead and shot him from up here. Kind of wasted a bit of time, but I was having fun, so that's never truly a waste of time. I wise up and start shooting the guys closer to me.
don't forget the Vindicator. I'm sorry, the Evoker in the last wave is the one that drops the Totem of Undying. Going back into the moat for some goodies. It's a fast way of collecting the items too. If you have Aqua Affinity and all that stuff. All of the water enchantments. And he was the one that dropped the Totem of Undying. I am a humble ruler. I enjoy my servant's fireworks. Thank you, my people. Thank you. I had some problems with pillagers spawning up here, so I had to put half blocks on top of our castle to keep them from spawning up there. I also had a problem with them spawning in a cave outside. Have a good one.